How can you play big being a female entrepreneur in the masculine business environment and arena? My name is Tineke Rensen from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed businesswomen becoming a business owner and building a business. So how do you play big? Because this is something I very rarely see with women. And it's important because we all want to change the industry. We all want to make a lot of impact. We all see so many things that are not going right in our niche and that we want to change and that we do better. And we know we do them better. But how do you play big to make that significant impact that deep in your heart you truly desire? Yeah, your mind is scared of it. But your heart, your inner wisdom, your, your connection, whatever, knows that you're here for a lot bigger stuff than what you're playing at right now. Now, how to do that? First, create a big vision. A huge thing that you want to accomplish, that you want to achieve. What is your big goal? That's tip number two. Right? A goal automatically comes when you have a big vision. A big vision is, is, a, is a huge concept. A goal is a tool, it's a, it's a milestone to achieve that big vision. Don't make it about you. And here is where things always go wrong. We make it about us. About, I'm not good enough. I don't know how to do that. I'm afraid, I'm nervous, playing small, wanting to keep control. There's so many things that we do to not play big. And that is making it about us. And this is a huge paradox because we always feel we do it for the other person, but because we make it about us, we cannot be there for all these other person to change. Can you see? How, how this is playing. So you own it to the world. You owe it to yourself, to your higher self, to your heart to play big and to step out of your own way. And how to do that? That is step number four. Heal. Make sure that you heal all these things that you talk about yourself. Track your thoughts. What are you saying to yourself? Is this even true? Well, you believe it, so you will argue that it's true. But is it really true? Yeah, something happened in the past. People told you stuff. So you have proof. But does that mean it's going to be true over and over and over? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Because you keep creating it. Because that's what you believe. And then you'll find the proof. But is it truly true? So heal, track your thoughts, and if you can't get out of your own way, find what needs to be healed and go to someone who can help you heal. And that's often not a matter of the, of the head and of the mind. It's on a deeper level. Next thing, dare to go out of your comfort zone. And when you heal stuff, that's easier because the making it about you is not so significant anymore because stuff has healed. The next one is embrace the masculine. We women, we are often a lot more feminine. But the driving force in the world to create success is, at the moment still, it's masculine. And there's high masculine and low masculine. And we focus on the low masculine. We focus on the fact that, that man can overpower, man can rule, uh, but man can also reign. And there's a big difference between that. They can provide instead of only making decisions and overpower. But we tend to look at the things we need to work on in ourselves, but put them away, put a label on them. Feel resistance towards them. 
whenever you feel resistance, there is a way for you to learn. There is a new thing for you to embrace. So we can learn a lot from doing business from men. They've paved the roads for us. And okay, men really can embrace a lot more their femininity still. And then business will truly change. And then they won't use their power and abuse their power. I'm not saying all men do, eh? And it also depends where you live and which country in the world. But it is essential if you want to make more impacts to also embrace the masculine. And women who are successful in business, they have done that. They own also their masculinity. And I spoke to lots of them, but they're also very feminine women. And sometimes they're not. Sometimes they also go in the overpowering. Please don't do that. Please don't. Next one is look for role models. Look for women who have achieved what you want to achieve and start to follow them, start to see what they do, start to model them. Make sure that you have inspiration so that you can see it's possible. And whenever you make it about you again, look at this woman and see what she does. She's probably come, came from the same place as you. Insecure not knowing how to do it, but she got out of her own way. Somehow she didn't make it about herself anymore. And then she must have got the right help and the right mentors around them because it's always like that. We need help and support. So that's the last tip. Find help. Find someone who keeps you accountable. Find someone who doesn't take your self pity. And someone who can see when you do it because this is this is the brutal thing we often don't realize we're doing it because we're so used to it now you can see and hear I have embraced my masculine you can hear it in my vo voice it's powerful for me it was the other way around I because being a woman I had to more embrace my feminine and that's still a process I'm in but I've learned how to heal other people too, because I am on a spiritual journey. I can channel, I can use Reiki energy and heal on a distance. And by using both forces, the masculine and the feminine, that is so important if you want to play big. I hope I've inspired you and if you Want to step with me on this journey? Figure out if there's anything I can do to help you and support you on the way playing big. Please reach out to me. We have a link here uh, in the description. You can schedule a quick 15 minute call with me. It's just 15 minutes getting to know each other. It doesn't mean we're going to work it to, uh, together at all, but we might take it from there. But that's a mutual decision. Bye bye for now.